Hey everybody, uh, Wayne back again. And I just want to go through the final um, of the 32, the 32 High Boy that I built. Now this is the the Ravel Special Edition one. Um, and uh, uh, as for as for the kit, as for going together, absolutely no issues at all. Um, I do want to give a shout out. First of all, I want to I want to I want to get off topic a bit. And uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Mini Dreams. Uh, I, I asked Mini um, a few weeks ago when he was doing um, one reveal of his of a car is is uh, is how he built his cowl injection his cowl hood scoops. So he did a video on it and it uh, very good video. So real real he explained it really really well. And of course I may do my my own my own spin on it. But I just want to thank Mini for for doing that um, because it's one of the things that uh, looks easy to do and, and that but there doesn't seem to be any kind you know it's always good to see how somebody else does it you know to see to see if you're on the right track or not so I just want to th again I just want to thank Minnie for doing that video um, getting back to the getting back to the kit what I did was uh, I'm I'm ju I'm just playing. I mean, I, I saw I, I went back into some archives and I saw I, I got in very very excited about this kit after I saw the last one that uh, Dr. Cranky painted and sent to CT uh, for CT Speed Shop to finish up and just the way that CT was was painting and I, I thought you want to know something? I said you know it looks looks let's give it a whirl. So I'm just like I said, we've been doing house renovations, and so I'm just piddle farting around down here in the basement whenever I can. And so I decided to pick this one up, and um, I just started in on it. Um, basically, almost everything was dechromed. Um, the the valve covers were dechromed. I didn't use the stock box uh, headers. These are out of a, of a out of an engine pack for for the uh, um, uh, 421 Pontiac motor. The supercharger, the carburetors, the 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 uh, um, the hat, uh, the blower belt, and all that—that's out of the forty-one Willie Street machine, street rod. And uh, so I like it because that kit had a three ninety-two Hemi. This is a three ninety-two Hemi, so I decided just to just to switch it around. Uh, is it perfect? No, no, not far. You know, far from it. Like I said, I'm just I'm just piddle farting around with it and just experimenting. Uh, I experimented with the um, um, Vallejo, the Vallejo metal color paints, and the the headers. And the, you, you saw me painting the uh, the dull aluminum. I did the hat, the hat, um, the suspension, the front suspensions, the radius rods, and all that. I did that in the magnesium color, uh, and yeah, it it's 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 good. So. Um, I decided to go with just the just the hubcaps and the beauty rings on a black rim, and uh, I've got some stills up. I two-toned the interior, um, a satin black and, and a gray. Uh, everything else is so. The only thing that that um, um, I didn't calculate correctly on one thing with the engine. A, a number n number one, they don't provide you the kit doesn't provide you with a coil for this. So I would have had to have made a coil, and you want to know something. That, Everything's tight in there, so I just ignored it. I got the spark plug wires in. I'll get to them in a second. But with the with the blower with the blower belt, it's so close to the radiator that there's absolutely no way I could get uh, um, a radiator hose in it. Uh, I would have had to extend out, do some do something. But it was a it was a miscalculation on my part. But uh, you know, no harm, no foul. Uh, underneath, nothing fancy underneath. It's just a, um, it's it's just combinations of grays and silvers, um, the 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 uh, Vallejo metal colors, which is all the magnesium, um, and uh, it's just a nice nice clean. It's a good build. I mean, I'm I was quite I'm quite pleased with it. I hinged. Please excuse my arm, but I hinged the the uh, the trunk. And that's just to stop it from flopping around. I didn't do anything to the inside of it, but it's just to stop it from from flopping around. And uh, 
um, losing it or chipping the paint. Um, the I wanted to keep it minimalist, uh, so there's just a little little uh, cross up here for the for a decal on each side, and then on the trunk, um, since I'd already taken the supercharger and everything else out of the Willys kit, I put the supercharger um, uh, decal there on the end. Just a small little round tail lights, um, the spreader bar, I left them chrome. Just for a just just minimal bling on it. it it's just, it was just it's I'm still just playing with colors. I'm still just playing with finishes. You know, yeah. Do do I like that? Do I like that color on the on the supercharger? Um, is that the way I'll do all my superchargers? Don't know. Uh, like I say, I'm just I'm just I'm just playing with colors as I'm going along. Um. The spark plug wires that I use, I use a uh, 36 gauge wire and it's actually made in Germany. Um, I get it, I get it from a train guy um, every, every year, every, every, right around Valentine's Day over at um, uh, the one big uh, uh, garden center that we have here in town. They they rent out their their one space to the uh, Barry or the Simcoe uh, Train Train Modelers Association, and they put on this big show on an annual basis. And uh, we're wandering around wandering around it because I do like my HO scale trains as well. And I came across a guy, and he had as I've been looking for 36 gauge wire, and he had the 36 gauge wire. And there is and it gets got the for the for the gauges for what you can do with it. And there is, it's 10 meters. So there's 10 meters. It, on the outside, it measures 0.5 of a millimeter. It's nice and soft. It's not hard, so it, it conforms. It, uh, it flows better. And I even put in, I even had uh, f uh, from a photo etch, an old photo etch kit, um, the wire looms. So I thought I was going to play, th th that was the purpose of this build was to, to play with things. So I actually put on the wire looms and this wire just went right through it. No issues, no issues at all. It stayed, it conformed, it, and it was gray. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a really, really nice wire, go, go to a train guy, see if he can get, see if he can get this, uh, um, uh, 36 gauge, 36 gauge high flex wire. And I think it's I think it's great. I mean, I've got all different colors of it and that, but I like gray myself um, because I don't I don't want to open the hood of a car and see neon colors for for the uh, spark plug wire. It's just not it's not not me not me. Um, two other people I want to thank um, with with you know not really helping me with this build, but just pointing a couple things out. First of all, on my last video, I had the fender inserts already glued to the body and uh, Rambler69 put down in a comment about um, you can't get the interior tub in with the fender insert so I went back and I, and I watched the, the, the video from CT Speed Shop he said the same thing so I thought oh shit here we go so Jay over at Chaotic Customs he was doing the same build at the same time he did the same thing and glued his fender inserts he got his he got his interior in, but he hadn't put his trunk lid on. The way I've got it hinged, my trunk lid was already on because I can't remove it. I have to, I have to cut the hinges. So I decided, I got mine out. I got my fender inserts out, didn't break them, uh, didn't damage the body or in, in any way. So I got lucky. So I took them out, built it, and then put them back in again. So I didn't have it. So I just want to thank Tom for pointing that out, uh, Rambler 69, and uh, congrats to Jay for fooling around so at least we know going forward that if we make this mistake again uh, for any of the new builders that never built this kit that you can get the interior in it's just a lot of work um, other than that not bad for my first for my first uh, hot rod uh, I'm not usually a hot rod builder um, but uh, I haven't built a hot rod in probably 40 45 years um, but no good kit will I build it again yeah I've already I've, I have one more that I'll probably build as a full fender, and you know, shiny, lots of chrome. Probably build it as a as a, a as a full fender. So, 
Uh, so anyway, so that's it for, for this one. I'm going to concentrate now. I'm going to go back onto the, uh, to the 116 Mercedes. Uh, we got some nice weather so I can get outside and get the spray booth out and paint it. So, so that's it for this one here. Um, I want to thank everybody for, for watching and supporting my channel. And uh, I'll have some stills up after this. So again, thanks for watching. And until the next time, everybody, cheers.